Electrical Services, also known as the Midfield General. In tonight's episode, what I want to do is I just want to quickly show you how we maintain and clean our tools. You know, and um, it's quite funny really because a lot of my work is domestic, but I was actually, a, I started off as a commercial spark, so I still do bits and bobs and all that in that. But at the weekend, we uh, we fitted out a, uh, a warehouse. We took down all the fluorescent uh, lighting and put all UFO Collingwood lights. I put some I images up, but the, the warehouse used to be a, a MOT center. So all, obviously all the purlins and everything had exhaust. So all our tape, all our tools got uh, caked. Well, Ollie's did, because he was on one of the lifters and uh, with Reese, but I was on the floor, so my tools were fine, you know. But yeah, so what I thought I'd do is I'll just quickly show you how I clean them and tidy them and all that because I know a lot of people is a bit of a taboo about cleaning the tools. But the thing is for myself is that we work around people's houses and I've got some of the customers who've got some beautiful houses and before they get to know me or meet me and all that, they're all a bit nervous about, you know, they're even nervous about whether we're going to take our shoes off and all that. And I do take my shoes off, but we also, I bought everyone who works for me or an even subs to me, a set of their mud guards. You can usually get them from anywhere from a 10 to 25 quid off, uh, 10 to 25 quid off Amazon. And I think they sell them in tool stations for about 15 quid. Absolutely awesome they are. No excuse really. But yeah, so they, they are so nervous. And obviously we're right at the weekend, we've got dirty tools like this and we've got white carpets and all that. So, you know, we have to keep them clean. It's not like we want to, you know, we have to, you know, it's our kind of, you know, it's a responsibility because even handling these, you're gonna get dirty hands, isn't you? You know, it's like, you know, it's, it's just filthy. But, and that is why we do it. Because I remember when I first started out, the guy who I saw of Tony Mallory, he was always, he'd always say it. And I don't know why he'd always say it, because he was quite a clean, tidy man anyway. He'd just always say, don't trust anyone with clean tools and all that. And I used to think, that's a bit off, you know what I mean? Because when I bought all my tools, I absolutely loved them, worshipped them. So I would never wipe them down with stuff like that. Because, you know, it was, we didn't have baby, we didn't have all these uh, clean wipes, big wipes wonder wipes and all that sort of stuff, baby wipes and all that. But, you know, I used to always like, what like damp cloth and all that, you know, you could do it with that. Just obviously be careful the the metal and all that you got to, uh, you've got to clean that off. Cause that's another thing that I noticed. I see a lot, I think I see in one of Nick's, Nick Bundy's uh, video that he was saying that all he was getting condensation in the back of his van and it, it seems to be very popular, but I never seem to get ever have got that in my van. I don't know whether it's cause, I live in the middle earth, you know what I mean? In the central of England, pissed me off, never see the sea and all that. I never get that. So, but right, what I'll do is I'll bring you in a bit closer and I'll show you like how, basically all I'll do is I'll spray it with either WD-40, this, this stuff, which is enough form of it, and this stuff, and then wipe it down with this, wipe it down with a sponge and then use one of them wipes. It work, they come out like brand new and all that. And I see a few of the tall lads on uh, Instagram, like Ryan Davis, congratulations. He got married at the weekend, a fellow Chelsea fan and all that. I'm only joking. I think he's a good, I think he's a Tottenham fan. And uh, also P Pete Bergs, but he's more commercial. You know what I mean? His tools are awesome. Like I'll put links below just there. They are absolute, they're awesome channels and they're awesome people as well. They're brilliant. Uh, Pete actually sent these down for Ollie. These, these, these are lovely, these are. I'll tell you, they're well sharp, and but both me and him like really like these, because I've, I've actually bought a few bits from uh, this NWS on the insulated version, and I'm not, I, I, I wouldn't say I'm not impressed, but they're, they're a bit strange, you know, they're a bit like, they're a bit like, a, like dare I say, a poorer version of the CK tools, you know, they see me, I don't, I, I can't explain it really, but, I do, but the reason why I bought the NWS ones is because they actually make the hand tools for some of the Milwaukee tools and all that. And I wanted to buy the Milwaukee ones, but they wanted 90 quid for a three piece set. And the NWS ones were 40 quid, so it was a no brainer, you know what I mean? I, I do love Milwaukee, but I ain't that stupid, you know what I mean? 
Right, anyway, I'll bring you in close and then we can uh, give you a quick tour of doing this. Usually I'll do it in a bucket, but I'm going to put a bit of plastic down here so it don't get all messy and all that. And we'll see how we get on, yeah? Yeah, so as you can see, what I'll do is I'll quickly spray them all. Yeah, I'll quickly spray them all. And then what I'll do is I'll give them a quick wipe down with this. Just get an old sponge. I actually purposely bought this sponge for this. Because you could use wet, you could use the uh, big wipes, but they're quite expensive, you know. But if you get the wonder wipes, you can always get them on a deal from here, there, and everywhere. So, you know, I'll give them a quick wipe, and then what I'll probably do is give them enough a little spray, and then enough a little. See, look, it's coming off beautiful, isn't it? And they smell really nice as well, you know. And and plus, by the time, uh, you know. I suppose you're probably thinking that it's going to make all the tools all slippery and all that, but it really doesn't. It's, it's quite nice. I think it's just the relief of them not being dirty, you know what I mean? Because look at the state of that one. Absolutely dreadful, isn't it? I'll be interested to know how you lads do yours if you do bother and all that. I suppose some of you are probably the same as, like, Tony never used to bother and all that, which I can understand it, you know what I mean? If you're working on building sites and you couldn't give a monkeys, but I suppose, to be honest, you wouldn't really be watching one of these channels, would you, or, or me talking utter nonsense and cleaning my apprentice's tools, which I don't mind, I quite enjoy it. I'd usually do it over a bucket and stuff like that. But look, can you see how clean they've come up already? And that's just the halfway. And then what I'll do is probably just get a wet what, a baby wipe and just big wipe, whatever they're called. You can buy, there's so many different types. I think my wholesalers sell Schneider, Schneider ones. And uh, sometimes I get them from Costco's, the big wipes. I always like the big wipes to be fair, but unless I can get them for eight quid or under, then I, I won't bother, you know, for the bigger ones because it's quite expensive, really. You know what I mean? And we do use them for, you know, loads of different things, you know, not just not just cleaning, you know, obviously they clean up all the dust and everything or, or stuff or cleans up uh, any handprints and all that you put anywhere, but yeah. I can't do the whole video of you watching me clean my old my old boys' bodies. <laughs> right, yeah, and that's basically it. And I don't know if I don't know if you can see that of how clean they've actually come up, but they're spotless to be fair. A dirty environment. Right, I'll bring you up and then I'll call it an end of another one, yeah. Right, so that brings us to an end of another episode. So these are the products that I use. Various different types of WD-40 just to dilodge the mud. Got some uh, big wipes, juice, power spray, and also all the, all the different tubes of all that. The uh, big wipes are obviously better than all the others, but the, the price reflects that. Also, my neighbor, he's also got an air, air compressor and all, so we borrow that. So what we do is if we do any chasing and anything like that, we bring back and just blow down all our tools and all that, and it comes off beautifully. And then just wipe them over, because at the end of the day, you can go from chasing then into somebody's kitchen or things with all dusty tools. It just don't happen, you know what I mean? You just got to respect the customers. Anyway, that's it for another episode. I hope you got something out of it. It's a bit of a weird one, but if you're gonna be anything, you'll be electric. Up the old blues. Oi, 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 cutscene.